Well, you know UM has a new athletic director and head football coach. Well, so does FIU, and they are both here to kick off the show. And one of these guys, I'm telling you right now, is Nitro. Guess which one it is. I'm Jim Barry. Sports Desk starts right now. It's time for the Honda Sports Desk, sponsored by your South Florida Honda dealers. Well, that is new FIU head football coach Mike McIntyre. As you see, he did not need a microphone at his introductory press conference because he is fired up, and so is the Panthers' new athletic director, Scott Carr, ready to take on a big challenge of taking FIU sports overall to the next level. It is a real privilege and honor to have both of you guys in the house. Great Thanks to be for here. Having here. And welcome uh, to South Florida. Of course, you were born here in Miami, yeah. and uh, football is really in your blood. I see, see that you were coached by your dad. You coached your son, so football is in the bloodline isn't it yes it is it's in our dna i like to say i was going to football games nine months before i was born so it's a big part of our life no doubt about it yeah and your enthusiasm is really infectious and you said you wanted a guy with enthusiasm uh also a guy with some uh, head coaching experience you got that at colorado and also at san jose state what was it about him that uh, excited you well just during the process really rose to the top um the head coaching experience and, and turning around two programs that certainly was a huge interest for us uh, his energy and passion, uh, the, the fact that he really wanted to be the head coach here at FIU, uh, just all those factors really came into play, and, and uh, we, we knew that he was the right person for the job. So I guess that is my first question then to you, Mike. Uh, FIU, you know, has struggled lately, winless in the conference, just 1-11 overall uh, last year. So why is this such an attractive uh, challenge for you? Well, I've always thought FIU could have a great program. You know, it's 20, this is their 20th year of football. Mm -hmm. You know, why not start it? Let's get going. And I think there's just so much talent in the area. You've heard that always, but uh, I think getting a plan, having a lot of enthusiasm, and what I always like to say is be positive and persistent, and you'll get something done. Then you got to believe. Yes, yeah, you got to believe, you got to believe, you got to believe. There's no doubt about that. Scott, you know that uh, UM cast such a huge shadow in this marketplace, and it's, as we know, they made big challenges, have a new athletic director and uh, a new head coach who once was the head guy there at FIU. So since they do cast such a big shadow, what is FIU's niche in this marketplace? Sure, well, we've got 260,000 alum and 80% of them are here in South Florida. Hmm. So uh, we've got the fan base, we've got the numbers, there's power in numbers. Uh, uh, the Panther family is everywhere here in South Florida. And it's just really a matter of, of getting them energized and activated. Uh, so we wanna be out as much as we can, Coach and I getting out, uh, getting on TV with you and, and doing radio interviews, doing whatever we can to get out in the community and, uh, and just really, really get the Panther pride going and uh, and get our alumni group going. You uh, come to uh, FIU from UCF. Uh, do you see some parallels in where they were and where you hope to take FIU? Absolutely. Lots of parallels. Uh, I said it a lot during my interview uh, experience here that six years ago when I was interviewing at, at UCF, I saw a lot of the same opportunities, a lot of the same potential. And uh, it, so again, large student body, mm -hmm. large alumni base, great city, um, young program, young energy. Uh, so many similarities, and, and so it's it's our job to uh, to get in here and, and really get things going. And of course, we know football generally is the big ticket. But at FIU, the basketball team is why I think I had an eight-game winning streak. FIU soccer certainly has an established brand, so you, you do have something to build on there. We have plenty of championship teams, right? Our uh, seven-time uh, Conference USA champion for for swimming and diving, and and uh, you know an incredible tennis program. And uh, there's just so many sports. I don't want to leave any of them out. But uh, as you said, we can compete for championships here. We can win championships championships here. Uh, I tell everybody for every sport we have, we can recruit in a car. Hmm. And then when, when we need to uh, uh, recruit some folks uh, from overseas, some international student athletes, what better city than Miami? Everybody wants to be here. So yeah. uh, really excited about the opportunities here. All right, Coach McIntyre, you probably have to find some diamonds in the rough. Uh, how do you recognize that those guys who can really, maybe who have been overlooked by other schools, but who you could see something and really develop them? Yeah, I think a great example of that is Philip Lindsay. Uh, he's a young man, that, young man that I got at Colorado yeah. that had one offer us. 
<laughs> and uh, he's had a special career so far. And so is the evaluation process, I think I learned a lot of that from Coach with Bill Parcells at the Cowboys. He's such a great evaluator. And it's, it's persistent, work hard, evaluate film, dissect everything. And um, it's a lot, of, a lot of sleepless hours, let's put it that way, of finding a football player. Yeah. Well, I tell you what, uh, do me a favor. Invite us into the locker room once when you're giving that uh, pep talk after the victory because I got a feeling if that's what you do yeah. at the introductory press conference, I can only imagine how enthusiastic it's going to be when the FIU starts uh, winning some football games. I, I will do that. You can come in there for sure, and it, it's <laughs> going to be a lot of fun. And, you know, we're going to build it and uh, build it right, and it's fun. I enjoy coaching kids. I enjoy yeah. watching them grow, and I enjoy watching them have success. Well, that is pretty obvious, and uh, your enthusiasm, I think, is going to be infectious. Coach, uh, congratulations. Thank Looking you. forward to seeing you do Appreciate well. It. And Scott, we'll do the fist bump like that. Uh, <laughs> Scott Carmike McIntyre, the guy is now in charge at FIU, expecting uh, big things coming for the Panthers. All right, plenty more ahead on sports desks. The Panthers, the guys actually who play hockey, back on the ice at Colorado. We've got highlights. And after giving so much love to FIU, like we just did, we got to talk some canes, too. Big changes, of course, in Coral Gables. We'll be right back. <laughs>